all welcome back to my channel Deepika's so today I'm going to give you five wonderful magical tips for your beautiful hair so I'm not going to talk about all these regular boring stuff like you know DIY hair masks uh, home remedies blah 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 but these tips are like sort of lifesaver for me I have personally damaged my hair by a lot of treatment like smoothening straightening perming and all that stuff and even including uh, ironing so with all that I have cut I have got this much of hair left from you know having a hair that's like super long till more than my hip now I'm like growing it guys so back to the point shoo, shoo, shoo. back to the point so I'm going to tell you in this video five wonderful tips to have a beautiful natural full voluminous looking hair so to know more stay tuned in so going to tip number one so you must have heard people say that cutting your ends or the so-called trimming will make your hair grow faster but guys brains they're not going to do that trimming is just going to cut away your split ends that's it they're not going to make your hair grow faster. They're just going to show that your hair is a little, you know, thicker. That's it. It's not going to grow faster. It's not at all going to grow faster. Number two. Okay. So I've heard people telling me also, and I have even seen people you know they comb their hair so regularly I mean uh, regularly means like you know maybe say some people are like obsessed like you know they comb their hair like even 20 plus times a day but guys they're gonna just rip your hair apart please stop it I'm telling you to stop stop combing your hair so many times you're just spoiling your hair that's it you know why because the more you tend to comb your hair it's going to damage your hair by literally breaking your hair strands and we don't want that because that's going to make your hair looks very very scanty so don't comb your hair regularly I mean in a day okay not like regularly 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 in the sense like throughout the week or something like that in a day I mean so coming to the point so it's going to like break your hair so when you have knots then comb your hair but if you're not going to have them stop do not at all comb your hair so many times coming to tip number three so I have seen many people ironing their hair and curling also but guys they are all heat treatment they're not natural so please stop it immediately stop have your natural hair it's like nothing wrong if you're having a curly hair it's beautiful if you're having a straight hair naturally straight hair it's even more beautiful so curly or straight it's gonna be like beautiful I mean it's God given gift you can't do anything about that so but in a situation where you're like Forced to use a heat product on your hair I recommend you to use a heat resistant before you know using a heat applicate on your hair so yeah for so in this tip I would like to tell you do not shampoo your hair so often 
often you know maybe twice or thrice a week yes but every day no nah. that's big big fat no you know you know what's gonna happen if you do that it's just your uh, natural oil is just going to get stripped off and in that case it's gone I mean your sh your hair is gonna lose its shine and then there's no point in going and getting so many treatments done to your hair you're just going to like waste your money and it's of no use and waste your hair is going to cause damage to your hair so please stop you know regularly shampooing your hair that's not necessary at all coming to tip number five so in this tip you know you must listen carefully you know why because there are a few people who have like a thicker hair but in due course of time they lose tend to you know have a lot of uh, uh, like what do you say hair fall I mean hair also growth also has a cycle like you know it, it grows for a certain period and then after some period it's gonna fall out so yes that's natural but continuous hair fall I feel you know we should check our health at that time when your hair tends to fall so often you know it just comes out there is some problem within you so you need to check your hormone levels like thyroid which is number one indication that something in your body is not right so hair is gonna show it so if you're having some sort of hair fall which you think which might be like you know um, out of the blue I recommend you guys to go and check with your doctors if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get notification of my future videos so till then bye guys